Today in the live cattle market, it rebounded. That sell-off was just too much too fast. We haven't seen quite that kind of a move in, in, uh, in a number of sessions. It's been uh, pretty wild. Uh, the real worries is that demand is on the, on the decline. That's the concern. Like the numbers haven't really bear, uh, don't really bear it out yet, but we're still gonna watch closely. Uh, plus that rally was, uh, you know, the rally's been getting maybe a little bit stale. Maybe there's some fatigue up here. It's getting a little top heavy. So we're gonna watch out for any kind of mad dash to liquidate some, uh, uh, you know, some of those futures that people are long and also taking some profit off the table. That that may come, but you know, I'm not saying that that's gonna be happening now, but uh, 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 just the fact that the, we had such a big move yesterday, I think woke everyone up and got everyone's attention. Now the feeders were firm and it seemed like the bottom pickers just offered some support but that just means some support maybe just for today uh, at least you know that the, that there's a, a little bit of bounce and they're trying to play the bounce somewhat because there is still some longs out there for a lot of commercials and uh, a lot of the specialized traders uh, but today the wholesale and the uh, choice cuts uh, were also up so the market is really uh, maybe getting a little bit of a breather from yesterday's sell-off uh, that being said we got to be careful because uh, that sell-off did breach a couple of big support numbers now it's come back somewhat, but if the market stays here, uh, I think that technically, uh, technically I should say that you know that would be maybe the signal that we could be moving a little bit lower. So we're going to watch that closely. Uh, that just knows that there will be some volatility ahead. Uh, hogs were steady today, but the deferred months were higher. Interestingly enough, so that June uh, w w was hanging in there, but the market still looks very, very strong. We actually hit a big uh, objective number uh, of 82. Uh, which we had, you know, thought that it might get there just a, a few sessions ago. So that it got here so quickly, uh, it shows signs that the market is really strengthening. But overall sentiment is very, very uh, good. And are we close to the China deal? Yes, maybe. So uh, uh, the, what we got information out of China is that some of their hog numbers are down. Uh, their pork prices are up about 20% in China. Uh, that definitely tells us that they're going to be in need of U.S. pork as soon as. We we get that deal inked I, I think that uh, there could be a lot more business coming our way and we're, we, we hope so and uh, all that information is really a recipe for a nice rally if it hasn't already started uh, this last week.